Okay, let's try this again. I shut off on me there for a second because I was getting in my Jeep. Okay, so today, February 10th, day one, went really good. Jeremy did a great job. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to kill myself with all this. Um, meaning, you know, I'm not sitting there trying to lost myself. Um, weightlifting's been different for me. I'm not, even when in the Marine Corps, all my friends wanted me to weightlift and everything else. I didn't do it. Today went really good, you know, I can feel it in my arms. We worked on arms today, um, and it was an upper body, so we'll do it again tomorrow, the next day, and then that way whenever I'm traveling or something else like that, I will be able to do, you know, I can commit myself to getting things done within a, mile, with a reasonable amount of time, so anyway. <laughs> Probably shouldn't make a person run after they just got done working out, but they are running across the, the road, so we're okay. So anyway, that's kind of um, how that goes. Uh, it's open still, so I'm, tomorrow I've got to come and vote for a hearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. All right, so tomorrow we're going to have to sing a little bit more. So I have to find more. I'm trying to find more protein, like with like more fish and omegas and stuff like that. Um, I'll get up with my buddy Mike on some of what I eat. I need to get a good uh, eating schedule. I already do a lot like with that, but um, I want to get it to be a little bit better. So, like I said, try to get back. I'm not going to get to where I was at when I was in the Marine Corps. I'm not trying to get that big again. But I am trying to be healthy. I'm trying to get my muscle, or my my uh, muscle fat, my uh, ah, what do you call it, down, um, uh, so that you know I have a good, you know, a percentage. You know, I don't want to be up in the teens anymore with um, my uh, body index weight. I don't know what you call it um, when they me measure your. We're going to go from there, and I'll let everybody know how it goes. And like I said, I'm hopefully this will um, boost her, you know, get more muscle in my leg and everything else like that. Um, you can call me Chicken Legs. I'm going to get a sweatshirt made. I am Chicken Legs. I'm trying to grow my Chicken Legs. I've had Chicken Legs my entire life. And it's really funny because I've been able to outrun most people I know. And um, like I said, that's where we're at right now. And this is to build my motivation. This is to do stuff that I'm not comfortable with everybody what you can do with areas you're not comfortable with now as far as work and everything else you know, what I'm, I'm picking up my work schedule too and not only that you know I'm gonna be doing a lot more with the uh, Optimus Club and the soapbox derbies this year so there's a lot of stuff we're doing and it is time management and time to me is everything you know because first off I got to make sure I make money put food on the table for my daughter second I got to make sure that things get handled appropriately Third, I got to make sure that I'm taking care of the Marine Corps League, you know, just like I promised and I made an oath to do as the Commandant. Why is this person going so slow? Next, I'm going to start working out to get rid of road rage. <laughs> uh, you know, we've got a huge thing going on March 26th, 27th, and 28th. We're going to be going to with truck drivers to help them out. Then I got to be, my, uh, be in Dallas, you know, second, third, and fourth. I got to make sure I got my team's tickets all down there. I bought the... Uh, tickets for my newer people on my teams and everything and in July we'll you know then we got the fairs and everything we got a lot of different things that are going to be coming up that I want to make sure people um, know and then of course the everyday motivational stuff to know that people know they matter so we're going to be doing a lot of that um, and we'll be doing more of it and I'm not going to be in the Jeep so much um, I keep trying to bring back where I'll read publicly to people but I read faster when I'm reading to myself and that's the reason why you don't see so much of it publicly like I've done in the past because I can read faster and I read chapters in, an, in a day not just 11 pages like I tell everybody to do but we'll get back into that this is only February 10th and we've already done more this year than most people have set out to do which is a good thing but if it's something I already do every year and it's something that to me that's not very much which means I have to be able to pick up the pace I have to be able to figure out 
and the whole idea is once you figure out everything you do then it's about time management on how to figure out the times it's tetris it's a lego system everything does fit you just have to figure out how to do it and then on top of that with everything i do i've got to figure out ways of helping as many people as possible in the legal field and the identity field you know really figure out how to help them really figure out what to do with them and you know see if we can make a difference in people's lives and then on top of that with other people you know maybe i'm not the answer but maybe other jobs and stuff and help as many people as people need to be lifted up i know they need to be motivated and so if i do things that i'm not in my comfort zone doing such as weightlifting, and they see that i'm willing to do it i'm hoping that my pure determination will help them also not just me saying stuff to get out of their comfort zone because i'm getting out of mine you know you got to walk the walk you got to do what you tell others to do but you yourself have to do it also and that's what i'm hoping to um strive to do for others i forgot i gotta go to the other store i'm going to the wrong place here <laughs> whoops <laughs> I still have to go to the store, everybody. See what happens when you don't manage your time wisely? You forget you got to go get stuff from the other store. Anyway, so that being said, I hope everybody's had a great Monday. I hope that you guys understand you got to build your own motivation. You've got to build your own self-determination. You've got to push yourself. You know, it may not be weightlifting. Me, it's not weightlifting for me, but I'm still going to weightlift, okay? Okay. A lot of people can't do cardio. I love cardio, but now I've got to back off on cardio and do a little more weightlifting in order to build up my muscles to make sure. But on the, at every time, you got to stay healthy, okay? And yes, for the most part, I have given up fast food. Um, I talked about a Herald the other day. I did eat two bites. I'm not going to lie. But the two bites, probably I burnt that off within before I even got home. But the point is this. You've got to be able to eat things and be able to then back away from it. You know, a lot of people, the problem is self-control. Some of the worst drugs in the world are what you put in your body every day. I'm not a health nut. I never will be a health nut. I am somebody that takes my health seriously, but I'm not a health nut, okay? But if I see somebody eating Twinkies and pizza and day after day off that TLC show and that Lifetime show, that stuff drives me crazy because I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know you're killing yourself. You know what you're doing is bad for yourself. And now you're doing this. Why? I can't figure out people. I'm not going to lie to you. That just drives me crazy when they pull that crap. And they sit there and they shove crap in their systems. So anyway, not a big deal. Now you guys know who I am. I'm, I, I'm somebody that I'm not afraid to express myself. I'm not afraid to say what I think, feel, and do. I am somebody that cares about people around me. And like I said, each and every one of you matter. Each and every one of you make a difference. I'm Jeffrey Jansen. I'm going to get off here. Thanks, Jeremy, today for a great workout. Look forward to getting your schedule, working out with you some more. Uh, we'll get you your rates and everything else so that not only can I make sure your time is well worth it, but also so others that may want to take up and use some of your time would be great. Um, some of my buddies on here are going to question you, Jeremy. Mike Batten's definitely going to look out for you because I do have a lot of brothers that look out for me and make sure my health, you know, we all look out for each other. And that's what I love about my Marine Corps brothers and sisters. And like I said, I trust them. And if they need people, they want to make money by helping them work out, getting physically in shape, I'll tell you who they are. So, and I know that these broadcasts go out all over the United States. And then I also put them on YouTube so they go out all over the world. So hopefully we're making a difference in somebody's life. Mind, body, soul, okay? So you got to have work to put food on the table. You got to be motivated there. You got to be motivated to keep your body in, in healthy and in shape. You got to be motivated to volunteer. You got to be motivated. What are you things you do? Eat some ice cream. It makes everybody happy. You know, you don't want to take out things that make you happy. But like everything else, you want to make sure that it's a reward not something that turns your body into a punishment, okay? Like I said, you can, if you don't know what failure is, failure would be eating ice cream every single day and never knowing that it actually tastes really good. Now, success is when you don't eat ice cream every single day, but have it every once in a while as a reward for doing something good in your life. Just throw it, taste.